Hi guys, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I'm back. I just did the the general read for you guys, and that's all about um, God, the universe, Creator, Source's advice for us in uh, conjunction in conjunction with the twins and the unions being brought together. So check that out. There was it was a really beautiful message about the arrows of love coming in. So there's some really positive energies there. So you might want to check it out. All right, so now we have the Oracle cards and I have the Ascension deck. So I'm going to get right to it. Take a deep breath. We're going to just let uh, God take the reins here. And if anyone comes up in these cards, maybe we'll call somebody specific in. Okay. So it is May now. So we're going from the four of the Emperor to the five of the Hierophant. Which is all about tradition and commitments and marriage. Contracts. Tradition and establishment. Tradition, 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 tradition. Okay. So this May 1st, 2019, for everyone watching, the best and highest good of all is concerned. What is it, God, that we need to know? Mother, Father, Christ, Sophia. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? Take a deep breath, guys. Let it all out. Greed and love. And let everything else out. What is it, God? What is it we need to know? What is it? Okay, the bottom of the deck is 39, which is the Knight of Cups, and that's about offering love to everyone you meet. The Knight of Cups, Commander Ashtar. I connect with Commander Ashtar to serve the universe. Okay, and he's all about uh, connecting with the galaxies. And Machu, Machu Picchu. I can never say Machu Picchu. Okay, so that's Commander Ashtar, 39. Um, then I have cards to count, and then we got two cards. All right, the first one is Pleiades, number 16, which is the tower. I believe that came up yesterday as well. So it's definitely significant that you just need to be ready, present, and at zero point. If you stay conscious in every moment, then no sudden events will get to you because you'll be present and ready and know how not to react or walk away if you need to. And that's how you deal with every situation. It doesn't matter what it is. If someone's fine with you and discussing in a nice way, there's nothing wrong with that. But if anything gets heated, um, you know just to walk away. You can certainly stand up for yourself and say something in an appropriate way, but as soon as it gets past that, it's time to go. So the Pleiades, again, says um, that they are great healers. They love the earth and all who live on her. By drawing this card, you're being invited to open your heart to Pleiadian healing. Let them enfold you in their loving, healing, blue light, so that their wisdom and gifts flow into you. When you've absorbed these qualities into your energy fields, pass them on to others. And that was very prevalent in the read today, passing your downloads on to others. Remember that the animals who come from the Pleiades, the sheep, pandas, and pigs, heal people and the land, bless them, and honor their work on our planet. The affirmation is, I open my heart to love and healing from the Pleiades. And the moon also came up, so you notice there was no one to call on here, so we're speaking with God today. Eleven, justice, again. The moon is the causal chakra of the universe, and radiates divine feminine energies. Call on it to cleanse your aura and energize you. Remember the influence of this celestial body is always there, whether you can see it or not. When you're offered this card, you're called on to practice your feminine qualities of love, wisdom, compassion, intuition, inclusiveness, discernment, and oneness. Your guidance is to go within and seek answers from your huge font of wisdom. The moon will bring you clarity so that you can flow with the current of ascension. The affirmation being, I listen to my divine feminine wisdom. And of course, Mother Earth is all about that your feminine energies. And the moon offers a reflection of the masculine, which is a reflection of you. So that, as that third energy, always helps in us discerning our truth. So it's always necessary. Oh, let's drop that card. Oh well. Later. So those two. And let me see how many I have to count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 again. And as I dropped that card, it went flying. I was getting, so it's the Pleiades card that fell, that's flying away. And then I was getting, and I can't remember the show again, 
the guy who is like, a, you know, like a superhero. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? It's just me. Is it American hero? I can't remember. But you know, it's come up before this past year, I think. Uh, who you would never think it's you know, who believe it was me, right? But it's me. So I have 16 again, and spirits connecting with me of the tower. Expect the unexpected. The moon and justice of truth and balance coming through. And offers of love with the 39, Commander Ashtar. There's really positive energies here. And the top card on the pile here of the 16 is air of 12, which is the hangman in wisdom. And to breathe the air. And that's what I'm getting from that flying through. The card flew through the air. And then, shoot, what is that TV show called? Who would have thought it's just me? And he's like silly guy with blonde curly hair. And I get to see him flying through the air. It's saying just to keep it light. Just hang. Hang loose and be light and have fun. No worries. That's wisdom. I invoke air to carry angels singing around the world and bring hope and peace. All right, so we'll go to the past life deck. Past life deck. And let's see what God has for us with this. And God is... Guard. God, God is armors, armoring us all with his love and clearing all the negative energies. So no need to worry. Transmute, transform, transcending, clear. We're clearing and aligning the cards, dealing with only beautiful love and diamond light. And so it is. Transmute, transform, transcending, clear. Everyone take a deep breath. All right, God, what is our advice here? This May 1st, 2019, for everyone watching, the best and highest good of all those concerned at any time across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and reality is the highest good of all those concerned. What is it we need to know? What is it we need to learn? What is that? There's some cards in the pile that want to be seen, so I have to show you those. Um, leaving a travel is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this card comes up a lot. This is the underlying energy. I'm getting, I'm leaving on a jet plane. So this, you're going to maybe traveling, whether it's jet or train, because that's coming up as well. It's a straight shoot home. The cup plunk game, because that came up in the read today. You don't have to worry, like in Kaplunk, you never would know which way it's going to go, which slot it's going to go into, but it's assuring you. It's a sure bet. It's a straight shoot home. Um, pack light. You might not want to use the old luggage. It's too heavy. And it's very dirty. <laughs> it's got a lot of old energy on it. Like your home. So some of us may need to move. You might want to take a trip to see new areas, to see what there is out there where you might want to move. But that's the underlying energy. And also reminding us that the pyramid with the triangle, that the corners are never closed. They're all open ends of energy because not, nothing is ever completely sealed. We're energy. And that goes into the seal of the diamond, right? Because the square is actually a diamond, and split in half is two cones or two pyramids, which are like the vein valves, which then go into the veins, okay? So that's what I want you to um, imagine, because it's like the diamond energy around your body, okay? It's like the, the valve of the vein. So the cards that came out here were first forgiveness reversed, And then two cards came out together, Trees and Monk or Nun both reversed. All right, so let me see what I'm getting from this. Before I focus on that too, I'm gonna to show you the cards, I have to count them, but I wanna show you the ones, the cards that wanted to be see, seen. So the pile came out like this, so you can see the bottom one, so I always show you this one, the High Priest or Priestess, but also Lessons or Blessings reversed, Love Life, and the arts all reversed.
All right, so forgiveness is reversed because someone's not forgiving. Everything is here, except for the high priest or priestess, which is upright, everything else is reversed here. So why is this? Oh, it's because it's May. Okay, so May is the tower month, okay? Because as we know, and it came up in the masculine read today, right? April showers bring May flowers, and June is the month that everyone gets married in, right? Because it's the lovers. Six. Five is the hierophant, but it's of expansion and change. It's about, it's about consulting, like, with the priest before the wedding, right? It's the dealing with the issues, uh, the counseling that you need, the discussions needed to be had, and possibly, you know, they can get heated. So that conflict or energy, that expansion energy is coming up all of May, because May is that five of change and expansion. So that is in line with the five of wands and that five of swords, which in the read today, were both reversed today. But we don't know what is in store for us in May. And it was just 11-11, so we're going through all this justice um, energy, okay? And the 16 as well, of the tower. So... You know, don't decide on something before all the facts come in. Um, we've been guided to this several times, where you always use your intuition, but also then see the facts, because there's a lot that's been covered up for you. You don't know everything, so don't assume anything until you actually know. Allow the forgiveness to come when it's time. And when you're having trouble, then just allow yourself to sit with it some more. Because things will come to light, whether within yourself or new things or information might come in. I'm getting, um, so this very much always takes me back to the message I had in the South of France from Jesus. Because this is in the Mary Magdalene card here. The Mary Magdalene deck has a card of the crucifixion where it's two, two lines of trees just like this card with the sun shining in between the lines of trees as opposed to just walk through one. So it always takes me back to that, and God knows that for me. So it's letting go of being a monk or nun, being celibate, being silent, um, and taking him off the cross. The message I got in the south of France, for those of you who don't know, and for those of you who do, I'm sorry, you've probably heard this a million times from me, but the message I got at the bottom of the Cathars Castle in the south of France when we were all lying together just for some messages and to breathe in the air, and I was lying under a tree just like this with the sun coming through, was look to the sun and to the butterflies and why close your eyes or keep your eyes closed when there's all of this to see, okay? So he was referencing his time on the cross. Even in that time of suffering, there is always beauty around you and spirit's connecting with me, okay? So, so let go of your vows. You don't need to make vows to anyone of celibacy, of silence, or anything. Your only vow is to yourself, to your higher self-connection, to me. And this isn't about doing anything bad to trees or, not, or to stay away from trees. Unless you're terribly allergic to them, then you need to maybe clear some more of your etheric layers. Um, there may be something there that will clear your, help clear your allergy. But it's really just about taking him down off the cross because I'm getting that message multiple times that Jesus no longer wants to be seen as on the cross, rather be breaking bread at the table with others. And I'm getting from, I'm getting from God, right? Don't be a stranger, okay? So don't be a nunk, a monk, a nunk. A nunk? Don't be a monk or a nun. Don't be a stranger, y'all. Now I'm also getting that if the sun is too bright for you, then just go under the tree for shade. And if you have allergies, it, it, I'm getting to try a different tree. But it's, oh, it's very important for everyone to connect with nature. So if you do have allergies, you might want to work with, um, you know, Reiki healing, with your own healing, spending a lot of time in meditation. 
clearing out your your aura, really feeling into your body to see where the problems is, your body will tell you. If you are a twin, your body will tell you, even if you're not, but you need to practice on your meditation skills and Reiki. Okay. I'm getting to make sure before you forgive others, to forgive yourself. And as far as these guys, I'm getting two today. Just don't worry about your lessons and blessings for now. Don't worry about your love life. Don't worry about your creative stuff. Work on your meditation skills. Your knowing and how, how to stay present because you need to be ready for any sudden events that come in. So it's saying don't worry about uh, so much dealing, focusing on shadow work, love life, the arts, creative. Be your high priestess, being your knowing, do your meditation. And just relax and be loved. Come out of your house, though. Watch out for the birds pooping on your head. <laughs> just kidding. So we have, um, did I count? I have to count these. One, what's it? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so that's ending, completion, transformation. And then I have the three more of the other cards. So 16 again for the tower. I'm saying there is death and transformation, transitions going on, the gates and the portals. Um, suddenly. So just be ready. Which means no fear. Just means stay conscious in every moment. So you always know not to react. And get ready to travel. Someone might be seeing the Old West. I was just getting that, the Old West. John Wayne? Someone might be really into John Wayne. And Death of a Salesman is coming up again. As Fallen Angels. You know? So the salesman who was always manipulating people, never speaking the truth. The bottom of the deck... Um, Three more cards just came out from the top here. And that was the fallen angels, male, female, reversed, as well as father. All right, so that very much has to do with death of, I mean, um, streetcar named Desire and death of a salesman. It's about that father who needs to start owning up to his truth. The fallen angel needs to realign with his connections and his marriages and his children or at least own up to the lies and then start fresh and clear to start over again. That's the transition, the transformation, the towers that need to come up because all the truth is coming out in order to clear. Because as in the read today, the truth sets you free because freedom is in truth. You, when there are no lies in your life, no secrets, there's freedom. That's why the truth sets you free. There's only fear that your truth will come out. The fear that you're not good enough or that someone will judge you. But when all of it's out there, it's done. And when you're centered like you are now, you don't care what they think, so it doesn't matter. So take another deep breath. This is for Journey of Love. For this May 1st, 2019, everyone watching the best and highest good of all is concerned. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? Fly like a bird. That came up in the read today as well. So those I just have to count. The bottom of the deck is the light field. 63. 63 is the nine of swords. Alright, so it's the purging, the light field. Okay, so heavy energy is coming in again. That's what that's referencing. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. And you notice I took a deep breath at thirteen and it ended on twenty-one. Completions, big completions, transitions, transformations, deaths. 
21, the world. Becoming is the bottom here. It's 34, which is again that eight of wands, which came up. It was a major theme in the read today of the hours of love. Okay, they're coming in for you. And this is about uh, being able to erase. You can always erase what was done. Erase the past and start over. Becoming. And 21. And then we have one other card. So 22 is the full. It's a fresh new start, which was also in the read today. Taking that leap of faith. Loving all that is, number 22. And it's just 20, 28, which is judgment and the twins. Two, two of wands. I'm going to read this one. 22. And there's the cards. Came up 21 and then 22. And the 22nd card is 22. The fool. That's because God's saying... That's me. Loving all that is. You wise awakened being. You can love all that is. You can love your tears and your sadness, for they are a testament to your open heart. You can love your numbness and fatigue, for they show you that you've worked hard and are now in need of rest. You can love your energy and passion even when you're so far ahead of the pack, you have to wait a while for everyone else to catch up. Maybe a day, maybe a decade or so, because you choose not to curb your enthusiasm for anyone. You can love your anger because underneath its fire is a desire for respect. And you can love your peacefulness because within your heart, you really don't care much for fighting sometimes. If there is something that is shaming you, worrying you, challenging you, it's okay to just love it. It will make sense when it needs to. And until then, don't try to make up stories in your mind. Just love it, even when it hurts. For it's part of your own divine nature awakening. It may just be like a painful cramp happening because it's been curled up for too long. This oracle brings you a sweet message. You were just asked to love and that everything else will take care of itself. And it just simply says, the state of being, allowing, receiving, becoming one with all that is, okay? So when you just be still and go with the flow and trust, when you're inspired, you do, but otherwise you're just in a state of being, allowing, receiving, becoming one with all that is, so that you can go with the flow. That's really beautiful. All right, so what do we have? It's 20, it was just 22, 22. All right. Let's see what the Tarot of Sexual Magic has for you guys. I'm just going to pull a quick card, see what comes up. Right. Yep. All right. Just a quick card. Let's see. Ah. It's just the, uh, the Knight of Swords, okay? And he's kind of a little bit harsh in this one, okay? So it's just about the harsh truth coming up. It's the energy of announcements and people being shocked, stunned. So that might be in a good way as well. Because the truth, it's about the truth coming out. Let me do one more from the mini deck too. Just so we have something that's not so sexual. Hey God, what's some last advice for everyone in the mini deck here? What is it in okay, so we have the temperance card and the page of pentacles, but both are reversed. Okay, so this is about uh, impatience of a child needing to learn. Okay, because this is like the student, the Page of Pentacles. Okay, this is the patient angel, the good student. And this is the not patient angel, good student. So it's not just about the children, it's about you guys too, being impatient in learning. So it could be the feminine and or the masculine. Both. I was getting this um, already today about the masculine, impatient to learn his psychic skills, but it's really in reference to all of you. It's not just the children. But uh, impatient ch children, you all are, is coming up. 
and then God saying, it doesn't matter, I love you anyway. <laughs> That's a very cute message. Okay. Uh, is there anything to show you? Nope. That's it. Drink your water, get your rest, have fun, rise and be loved, guys.